Our honorary degree recipient today is Mr. Danny Vogler, who will be introduced by Carl Oliver, Director, School of Applied Technology. Danny Vogler found technology at an early age. At 13 years old, he managed his first server for online gaming. By 18, he was hosting dozens of websites and investing all of his spare cash on online advertising. While he was a Humber student, he created an online marketing company focused on measuring user actions resulting from advertising. Danny's interests and talents extend beyond technology as well. He has created original soundtracks for Flash games, directed a music video for a reality TV show that became the most popular video on YTV's YouTube channel, and he was even an on-air web personality. It seems he's always jumped at the chance to create opportunities to pursue his passions. Today, Danny is the technical director for digital operations at Chorus Entertainment. He's responsible for all aspects of digital operations systems to deliver state-of-the-art technologies in the Canadian digital media landscape. His focus on the evolution of digital media has brought Canadian kids and life lifestyle entertainment to your phone, tablet, PC, and TV. Now, to those of you graduates in computer and networking field, you might recognize that as the best job ever. He enjoys his job, he loves his job, he's great at it, and he's always looking for ways to improve himself and the work that he does. And to me, Danny represents what is possible for every single Humber graduate with the right mix of passion, preparation, hard work, and support. President Whitaker, Ms. McKinney, it is with great honor and pleasure that we ask you to confer upon Mr. Danny Vogler this Bachelor of Applied, of Applied Studies degree. Thanks, Carl. President Whitaker, Dean Denise, members of the platform party, Humber faculty, computer and networking support technician teachers, graduates, and if I missed anyone, ladies and gentlemen, I'm honored to be here today. I should feel comfortable up here. My girlfriend, Danica, and cousin Brandon are both graduates from Humber. My best friends, Mike, Brian, Selena, and Travis, are also proud graduates, not just from Humber, but from the same elementary school. Humber's often been my home away from home. And I have to be honest again for a moment, and as technology grads, you'll understand me here, I was emailed by my teacher who was excited to tell me that I received this honorary degree, and he wanted to tell his colleagues uh, that I accepted it, I was the, as I'm the first computer and network support te technician graduate to receive this but I have to look at that email and think that it was spam. <laughs> I thought it was spam. <laughs> Three flags went in my internal brain processing spam system. First one is, am I looking at my own inbox? Yes. Two, is this true? It's not the first time I've been offered a free degree over an email. <laughs> and uh, what the heck is an honorary degree? Googled it and confirmed my suspicion this is probably not spam. Now I'm actually standing up here, so this must be real. And not too long ago, I was sitting where you are, about to receive my Humber diploma. Some of the teachers here today taught me as they may have taught you Muhammad Khan, Carl Oliver, Leon King, and Alan Bradstreet. These teachers and many others were the door to my abilities, and I hope they've been for you. Leon's in, in, uh, signature in his email read a Chinese proverb. Teachers open the door, you enter yourself. I didn't see if Leon was holding the door open today at the Congress Center, but 
Your teachers, while you've been here at Humber, have been holding that door open for you since you've met them. And today, you've all walked through it. This probably isn't the first door you've walked through, and I guarantee it won't be your last. While I struggled in general, I'm sorry, I struggled throughout school. I was diagnosed with a learning disability and reading comprehension, and my teachers told my parents I was not likely to acquire a post-secondary education. In an effort to help, my parents bought a compact Presario from Radio Shack, computer, Windows 95, spent all their savings on it, so I could word process documents instead of write them by hand. This was also my first introduction to the internet and love it for cipher technology. While I struggled, struggled with general education classes, I excelled in the arts. I was chosen amongst hundreds of clarinet players at Etobicoke School of the Arts who auditioned, and that was the first door I personally walked through. I even composed an original, original piece of music with the help of my mentor, Uncle Carl. I worked hard, studied and practiced for weeks, and was committed to a good performance, and it was. After two years at that school, I still found it difficult to maintain my marks in the gen ed, so I switched to Silverthorne Collegiate to pursue my other passion, technology. I was extremely interested in that as well. And if you've noticed so far, I've mentioned the word passion once. And as students, you're probably thinking, I've heard that word, maybe thinking, I've heard that word quite a bit in, a, in the past little while here at Humber. But I want to get serious uh, one more time about the passion, here's why. Passion brings you knowledge, and those two things, to, combined together, gets you jobs. The person who Googles it in the room, when someone doesn't know the answer to a, something in the conversation, and then there's that other guy who tries to Google it faster, or that person who wants the latest software update for their iPo iPhone, or piece of software that is better and, and bigger and they're interested in it. These are people that are passionate about something, and in this case, knowledge and technology. Steve Jobs said, if you're not passionate enough from the start, you'll never stick it out. You're passionate about technology, and you'll prove that as you walk up here in a moment to get your seal of approval. Congratulations. As Carl mentioned when he introduced me, I worked for a company called Chorus Entertainment. My first gig at Chorus during high, was during high school. I chose to take a co-op program with, that places you in a work field that you're interested in. I was interested in websites, and my uncle knew someone that worked at Chorus as a Flash game developer. Thankfully, he had the time, as a, he had the time to take a co-op student under his wings. And the first thing he made me do, I won't forget, was, was draw a boat and make it animate up, up a waterfall. I should have told him visual art was not my thing. And that boat sank real fast. So the next assignment he gave me was a little coding, a little back-end action script with Flash. I made a flip matching game, you know, if the two match, lock them, and then if they match them all, you win. I nailed it. And that was the first indicator that I should probably take programming post-secondary. Ironically, I never got a feel for it uh, because I ended up doing uh, music and effects once they found out I can compose soundtracks for the games and animations they were making. And after that, I applied to Humber. Course hired me part-time as a YTV4 moderator while I was here. It was fun, but after a while, the challenge wore off. So every time I saw the director of technology or manager of IT in the kitchen or in the hall, I'd ask them, hey, do you have any opportunities available for me? And they'd say, oh, not right now, Dan. Uh, come back later. So next Monday, I go back and say, hey, got any opportunities for me? And say, laugh, say, so, sorry, Dan. Come back in a few months. Maybe, uh, maybe there'll be something available. So next month, I go in. Got any opportunity? You get the point. Um, I eventually got a yes, several no's later. And they offered me a small contract in advertising operations online. I spent several nights reading about online marketing to make the best solution possible, working beyond the job description and duties I was assigned. If I hadn't taken the risk of bothering that director over and over again, I might still be a forum moderator. And once I landed that new job, if I didn't have the passion about it, 
I probably wouldn't have worked so hard, hard to do the best possible job I could, like Steve Jobs said. I graduated from Humber and was hired full-time as a systems administrator at Course. And by this time, I had my own marketing business and a bit of experience with technology as a hobbyist. With my first day at work, I was handed the keys to 45 servers, which is quite a bit of a lot of responsibility without any prior official work experience. But I had no idea that I'd been actually doing this exact job with slight variation in my parents' basement for several years playing video games and specifically hosting Counter-Strike servers, highly available, good Counter-Strike servers. My, uh, I was extremely scared on my first day of the job, and I was only convinced un until I realized what I was actually doing, and I saw my duties and realized it was, again, the same stuff I did in my basement. My boss, Jeff, and I already knew each other while I was working part-time, but it wasn't my previous job experience or lack thereof that got me the job. I had the passion that brought me the knowledge. I still go to Jeff when I need advice today. So I ask you, find a mentor. I tell you, find a mentor when you leave here today. If you, don't ha if you already have one, uh, buy him or her a coffee and take them out for dinner. These people are, are extremely important to you and your future. Benjamin Franklin said, tell me and I forget. Teach me and I may remember. Involve me and I learn. Jeff showed me hundreds of doors, quite literally. He would come to my desk and say, Dan, let's go. And I'd say, where? And he'd say, grab your book. OK, I don't know where we're going. Grab the book, go down the hall, open up a door, and there'd be a boardroom with 10 suits at the table. And I just started my job. So I sit down, and I wouldn't say anything for 60 minutes. The whole hour would go by. And I'd think, wow, I really messed that up. But little did I realize, all Jeff wanted to do was give me a new experience and get comfortable in certain business situations, meet people, and build connections. He taught me not to be afraid to listen and not to be afraid to ask. Teachers, on behalf of myself and the graduates, thank you, thank you for guiding our, us to our interests and building a foundation of skills that we'll use throughout the rest of our lives. And to the graduates, on behalf of myself and everybody else here today, congratulations. You've made it through this door, and soon you'll be ready to walk through your next. But please remember, remember what you're passionate about. Don't be afraid to take risks. Listen to your mentors, and believe me when I tell you, this is just the beginning. Thank you.